My name is Dave Benning. I'm a celebrity portrait painter from Vancouver, Canada. I've had the good fortune to have met and painted many, many celebrities in my time. So um, what I want to do is start this video series because I get a lot of questions of people asking me, you know, what kind of paints do you use? Uh, what's your technique with acrylics? Uh, what kind of canvas do you use? What kind of brushes do you use? How do you paint? How do you get your, your image up on the, on the canvas and everything? So what I decided to do was put together a series of videos on YouTube here um, and build a little channel so people can kind of tune in and, and watch from start to finish an entire pr painting uh, come to life. So I'm gonna go from blank canvas to finished product and we're gonna walk, walk you along every step of the way and every everything I do, I'm gonna explain why I'm doing it, how I'm doing it, uh, what kind of products I'm using. And so we're gonna get, get, you, get you kind of an insight of how I work. And it's, and it's not really a, a how-to paint video because you know what, there's so many fantastic artists out there. Um, everyone has a, an amazing different style and, and that's the beauty of art. It's, it's, really, uh, it's really wide open and you know, anything can be art, which is, which is great and I love it. But uh, I'm gonna give you an insight into how I paint personally. So this is just like a little glimpse into my studio, into my world. And uh, hopefully you might learn something, you might get uh, inspired, you know, you, 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 hopefully it really uh, gives you an insight into, into what, what I do. So, um, you know, that's what we're going to try and accomplish here. So, um, this is Lee Van Cleef. It's from the movie The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, which is a classic. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. And this is the first in a series of three. So the second one I'm going to do, which is the one I'm actually going to paint for you uh, in this video, and it's the Clint Eastwood one, which is the good character, uh, Lee Van Cleef being the bad character. We're saving up for the third one, which is going to be uh, the Eli Wallet char character, the Tuco character, which is uh, actually, my, actually my favourite, probably. Definitely the best character in the, in the movie. Um, but I love these paintings because they're, the sun has captured these guys. They've been in the desert. They're, their, their faces are weathered, you know, they've got lots of texture, their lips are dry, you know, so we're going to try and get some of these things and, um, you know, they're really good, really good points to use. So, you know, a, a sense of the light, um, you know, the hair, the stubble, you know, the, the whole Wild West kind of uh, weathered look, which will be really good. So uh, without further ado, we're going to check it out. Um, I'm going to get the blank canvas up on the on the easel here. We're going to start it up and uh, let's just go through the process. So hopefully you enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel and uh, we'll, we'll follow along. Have a good time. Thanks a lot. I'm just going to rough these in. You get to this point now, and so I've got my grid, and I've got my image. But just the basic lines of the image so I can see where I'm at. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to start transferring the image over. So I'm looking at these grids, and I don't know if you've used the grid before or not, but the grids, you just follow what's in the boxes, basically. So you can just put it straight in there, straight down there, and right out there. That'll be it first line. What we do then is nice loose, very loose wash here. So we've got one line that comes down from here to about there. Okay. So we have here we have the burnt umber, which is what I'm using for the um, wash. Burnt umber. We have the raw sienna, which is a lovely colour, nice golden brown. And then we have the burnt sienna too which is a really nice reddish brown color. So these three are the three colors I use to um, get my basic tones down for the underwash. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to start raw reference material here now. So this is like my iPad, and it's great for zooming in to seeing, you know, what you want to see. So the eye for detail, you know, the nose, mouth. It's not the highest resolution picture, but we don't really need it to be. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking, I've got some burnt umber, which is what I've been using. Then I've got some burnt sienna too, which is a lovely golden brown color. I'm um, just gonna wash in some of my dark areas. So dark areas would be the beard, um, the hair, we'll get some nice shadows put in. Uh, if you can see. And all we're doing is basically giving it a base coat. So it's something we can see. Even just putting in these tones will make the image start popping out. And you'll start being able to, you know, cut out bits that and you're gonna get your likeness like this too, so it's really, uh, it's really important there. I'm just gonna light this light around the eyes. And this is, this is a little bit crucial, but still not, not too crucial. But what we're gonna basically do is just block in the eyes so we can see the shape. I start to get a bit of a likeness. If we get the likeness now, Thanks very much everyone for tuning in today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the very first lesson, my first YouTube video, which is kind of cool too. So um, we've taken it to this level now, which is the blank canvas to the basic underlay of the underwash. So we can, uh, we've can we got something really solid to build up on for next week. Uh, and next week what we're gonna do is start taking the more fuller colors, more, more opaque colors, and we're gonna start building up layers to build up the, the flesh tones. The, the, the form of the image and we'll do the background as well. So hopefully you really have enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you've learned something. Um, I've had fun doing it. So uh, hopefully we'll see you next week. Subscribe to my channel and uh, look forward to seeing you again. Thanks very much.